The crime spanned from the Central Valley to San Jose. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live now for us at San Jose Police Headquarters with what we know. Jesse. Heather, investigators say the suspect in this case had a violent encounter with family members prior to the two killings yesterday. We spoke with the relative of one of the victims. She asked that we conceal her identity for safety's sake. My daughter is even surprised that it got to that point. She was like, Mom, I didn't expect that. This woman says her niece, Michelle Gonzalez, had a relationship with the man accused in her murder. The on-again, off-again couple shared one child, a six-month-old baby boy named Raymond. The slain woman's aunt says her niece had concerns about their relationship due to verbal abuse, but she never reported those concerns to police. Modesto investigators say the suspect arrived in the 500 block of Ramsey Drive and killed the mother of two. The crime was preceded by the suspect allegedly killing a man approximately two hours earlier on Mount Shasta Drive in East San Jose. We arrived there, found a person with a life-threatening injury. That person was transported to a local hospital where he was later pronounced deceased. After allegedly committing the two killings, the suspect drove back to San Jose. CHP officers helped in the chase. Part of the way detectives say he was shooting at pursuing police officers while driving with a second woman and two children in the car. At some point, he let them out and continued evading police. He abandoned his vehicle in a collision near the area of Bendorf and Roundtable. He fled on foot from officers that were pursuing him. During that foot chase, he fired rounds at our officers. The suspect barricaded himself in a shed behind a home in the 100 block of Bendorf Drive and stayed there for 12 hours. At multiple times, he fired from the home into the Edenvale neighborhood. In Spanish, this neighbor says he heard the commotion and was afraid because his wife and children were inside his house and they were afraid to go outside. Around 7.30 Wednesday morning, the suspect left the shed, came outside and pointed a gun at police officers who opened fire. This was a very violent, armed, and dangerous individual that was on our city streets. This did not end the way we wanted it to. This suspect, you know, kind of sealed his fate when he came out and pointed a gun at our police officers. After police fired and hit the suspect, he was rushed to an area hospital, but late this morning, he died from his wounds. Now, police have not released the identity of that suspect or the identity of the man that was killed over on uh, Mount Shafter, Shafter Drive uh, in East San Jose and the relationship between the two. So that's something detectives are still working on. We're live outside San Jose Police Headquarters. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. We'll head back to you. Okay. Yeah, as you mentioned, a lot of questions here, Jesse. But again, the house where he eventually was holed up in, we don't know his connection to that home or that neighborhood either. Uh, uh, Heather, uh, investigators say they don't believe there's any connection per se. Mm -hmm. He crashed his vehicle and just ran and actually into a shed which was behind the house and kind of stayed in there for the, for the 12 hours and then ultimately came out. Uh, raised a weapon towards officers who uh, opened fire and killed him. So really was 